No, we, we thought we would have depth because we felt like there wasn't a big gap between players, and we told them that as the season goes on, they would determine who's going to get the minutes and how it plays. And when you go back, I, I mean, early, I think we had, I don't know how many different starting lines we've had this year, but we haven't put so much into it in, in terms of that. But uh, what we did was reward guys probably starting from uh, what they did in practice, and then we had some guys along the way that feel better coming off the bench. And uh, but we, we knew we were going to need all of these guys, and we still do. I mean, we really need for Shambari and Quay, we need those guys to, to get better and be available. We, we, need, we really need those guys. And, uh, you know, I think Lou's a great example of a, of a player that stayed with it. You know, he had his ups and downs, and, but, uh, you know, he's, I mean, he, he was key. These last three games, he's been a major factor. And so there's a long way to go. You don't ever know what's going to happen uh, with the injuries and such. But the fact is, we need everybody. And Kyle, I thought Kyle showed great character in the way he fought back after the Kentucky game. And like I told him yesterday, he's got to keep building on that. And I think each one of these guys have to do that. But but we felt we would have depth. There's, we didn't have that a year ago. but. And I think a lot of that has helped us this year because the guys realized that if they didn't work hard, didn't play hard, that someone was waiting to play. And uh, we still, we can be better.